So many times we see Jesus saying in the Gospels, He who has ears, let him hear. He's not talking about our natural ears primarily. The people in the crowd, they did hear his voice. They did have natural ears, but what Jesus was mainly saying primarily here is we need to have spiritual ears that are attuned to God's voice. And so we need to hear his voice. We need to heed his voice. What Jesus was saying, his whole name, Yeshua, means the Lord is salvation. And what he was saying is, I've come to save you from your sins. I've come to redeem you. I'm your deliverer. I'm your Messiah. I'm the Son of God and the Savior of the world. John the Baptist even attested, here comes the Lamb of God who comes to take away the sins of the world. And Jesus, he has come to take away your sins and forgive you and bring you to newness of life. And so we need to have those ears that, that hear his voice. And in an illustration here, we have this Mickey Mouse doll. He doesn't have ears. He came broken, which was kind of unfortunate. And he doesn't necessarily like being without ears and being whole. The Lord wants to make us whole and give us those ears to hear. And so what Jesus said in John 5, 24 was, He who hears my word and believes on him who sent me has eternal life and will not enter into condemnation for he has passed or crossed over from death to life. Interesting. So we need to have ears to hear. But even more, James 1, 22 states that we need to not just be hearers of the word, but we need to be doers of the word, not merely deceiving ourselves. And so if we hear his voice, but we don't obey him, Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. We need to follow suit, have those works following our faith. And so what we have here is a dynamic where God has given us these gifts, these gifts and abilities, our creativities, our spiritual gifts, 1 Corinthians 12, Romans 12, Ephesians 4. It could be something God has called you to specifically. Sometimes we can measure this by seeing how God has gifted us, what passions he's given us, and then following suit, obeying him, multiplying those talents, just like the faithful servants in Matthew 25, not burying it in the ground because you're afraid of God and what he might do, but being joyful in multiplying what he's given us because we love him. And so he's given us these gifts. It's a little paintbrush here. It's an illustration of that. But whatever it is, hospitality, service, mercy, evangelism, maybe you're called to be a pastor. Maybe you're called to be a teacher. Whatever it is, you need to follow God and hear his voice. Listen for him and wait on him and then obey. So we need to ultimately have ears to hear. We need to be doers of the word and not just hearers. And may we be found faithful at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Commit all things to him, do all things to his glory, and be blessed. God bless you.